So it says in verse 31 that as they took communion, as they took this physical thing that God gave them to remember the, phys- to the spiritual that, that he had done and that we were now a part of, he said suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And then verse 32, they said to each other, didn't our hearts burn within us when he talked to us on the road and explained the, the scriptures to us? See, I think sometimes, remember we talked last week about how oftentimes we forget God's promises because of some of the garbage and the things that are going on in our life. Sometimes, sometimes God is trying so hard to talk to us. And if we were to just slow down, these guys are walking to Emmaus. And they're hearing this stuff that they've been hearing from Jesus. And yeah, and, but something inside of them just kept telling them that this was it. This was it. Aren't, aren't you getting that this is it? And then Jesus was even saying, don't y'all get it? And then when they did the thing that Jesus gave them to do, it changed them. Can I tell you something? It, it's, it's hard sometimes to remain faithful and be comforted spiritually because we want so bad to be comforted physically. Y'all remember poor Thomas who got the bad rap for doubting? It doesn't say in Luke, but in John, Thomas came in later on after Jesus had showed up and, 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 and basically didn't believe. He said, I wanted to see. I wanted to see. Oh, if I could just see. And then Jesus showed up later on, and Thomas just immediately went to the floor and, and just bowed and just, oh, Lord, worshiped him. And, and Jesus said, you know, Thomas, you believe because you see. Well, what did he say? Blessed are those who believe and don't see. Jesus knows how hard it is, and that's the main reason why he gave us communion. So.